everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a review and swatches for you guys of the Walmart's favorite latest in lips box. Now, um, this is new and available. I do have a review on the last one that they had. If you guys would like to check that out, I will definitely have that for you up in the cards. Um, so this box runs for $9.88. And like I said, it is available at Walmart. So um this one is completely different from the one that i had previously so i'm really interested to go ahead and get started and swatch these for you guys so this is the box right here it does tell you on the back the name and directions if you need it it also has the ingredients listed for each item on the back and you open this up and it does give you a view of what is inside I'm really excited to try these out some products I have never tried before such as the Burt's Bees and the Neutrogena um, so this says latest in lips make a statement with the ultimate assortment of lipsticks glosses liner and smooth lip treatments love the results show us your looks have a suggestion let us know hashtag warmer beauty so um, let's go ahead and open this up this is supposed to be valued uh, over $47 so you pay 98 and you're basically supposed to get $47 worth of product so um, once I do that then we can just pop these out of the back so I'm gonna go ahead and get them all out real fast and I'll be right back okay, so the first item we have is the my collagen hydrogel lip patch from Soye so they are really, really cute, like lip masks. Um, let's see. Smooth away lip lines, dry cracked lips in 10 to 15 minutes with the nourishing and moisturizing benefits of Super Berries. All right. I cannot wait to give this a try. I don't think I've ever tried a lip mask before, so that'll be really, really interesting. I love eye masks. I love face masks. So we'll see if I love lip masks. Now, so the very first thing I want to try out is the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. This is in the shade Flirt Alert. Um, this is from Wet n Wild, so it is cruelty free. <clears throat> Oh, that is so pink. <laughs> that is so pink, but it's very, very pretty. I've been a little bit more adventurous with my lipsticks, so I've been willing to try things that are a little out of my comfort zone. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. So there is the swatch right there. All right, and I guess I should go ahead and take off my lipstick, and I will give you guys a lip swatch. Um, so let me do that, and I'll be right back. Now a lip swatch for you guys. Oh, that's not a bad color. I actually, I actually kind of like it. It's a little bit more intimidating on my hand than it is my lips. <laughs> I can definitely see myself wearing this in the spring or the summertime. It's a beautiful color. Yes. See, this is why I try new things because you never know what you're gonna like. It's not sticky. It's really comfortable. This must be a new formula. Because usually I don't like the um, the Wet n Wild. Um, I feel like they're a little, I don't know, it, drying's not it. It's almost like flaky, the ones I have tried in the past. This feels really comfortable, really moisturizing, and it does not have a matte finish. It's more of like a gloss finish. I really like this. Ah, I really like this. Okay, so. And uh, this looks to be one of the full size, so that is exciting. All right, so the next item we have is from Alme. This is the Goddess Gloss. This is what it looks like. Looks like a pink shimmery gloss. Uh, this is in the shade 200, which is angelic. It's got a very long applicator, so there is your applicator right there. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of reminds me like a Huda Beauty, uh, one of her little shimmering glosses. So there is your swatch right there. It does give a reflect, which is really, really pretty in person. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Okay, you guys, this smells so good. It feels really good on the lips. It feels really moisturizing. 
It definitely has um, like shimmer or glitter in it. You cannot feel it at all, like not at all, not at all. It does feel a little bit thicker on the lips um, than in my normal lip glosses, but I could still definitely wear this spring and summertime. This is beautiful, absolutely. And I, like I said, I love the holographic changing shimmer in it. So very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Ah! All right, we are two for two so far. So our next item is from Neutrogena. It is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine. And it says this also has hyaluronic acid in it. This is the color up close. And this is in the shade Radiant Rose number 50. Ah, it's stuck. Oh, okay. Ew, I don't know if I like that applicator. This is the applicator right here. It looks a little funky. So, let's see. Feels. Mm. All right, so that's two coats. It is very close to the first shade as far as the swatch goes. So let's see what it feels like on the lips. Oh, that's hard to get in and out of the bottle. All right, so here is your lip swatch. It's more like a tint for me. It feels really nice in the lips. It does feel a little bit more thick than the, uh, the Alme, but nothing that is completely unbearable. Um, it's a really pretty shade. Don't know if I would actually like go purchase this, like I would go purchase the other two, but it's really, really nice to try and I do like it, so I will continue to use it. All right, so we have the Burt's Bees Liquid Lipstick. So this is what it looks like. Um, on the side, it does like to have the little honeycomb design, so that is super cute. And this is in the shade 803, Tidal Taupe. This is something I've never tried before. So just a normal applicator. Ooh, the shade's really pretty. Yes, look at that. Very, very pretty. <laughs> All right, so I'm definitely digging the color for this. I really like the way that it feels. It's not really heavy. So, beautiful color. Oh, what a beautiful color. All right, so there are two more items left. Uh, this one is from Hard Candy. It is the Max Pout Plumping Serum. I don't necessarily need a pump plumping serum. I do have pretty much full lips, um, and there's nothing I can do about my top lip. My top lip is crooked because of a bike accident when I was a kid, so that's a story for another day. Um, so I think I'm going to leave this package and I'm gonna put it in a giveaway, so. Uh, that leaves us with the Flower Beauty. This is the Miracle Matte Lip. This is what it looks like. Really, really pretty packaging. It looks full size as well. Um, this is in the shade ooh, Dark and Stormy. <laughs> and this is your applicator right here. It's kind of flat. And, oh, that color is so pretty. Look. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. I love it. Okay, I cannot wait to get this one on my lips, you guys. Like, very excited for this one. digging this color it has not dried down yet um, I don't know how to explain it so when I was applying it it feels 
extremely wet, like wetter than a lip gloss, almost like you're applying water to your lips. That's what it feels like. It felt that way even when I was swatching it on my hand. So um, if you guys have ever tried a Huda Beauty liquid lipstick and it's got like that wet formula, um, this is kind of like that, almost even more so wet feeling. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but it makes sense to me. Um, however, this color is gorgeous. It's like a grayish, purple, grungy lipstick. <laughs> Just what it says, dark and stormy. Um, all right, it is finally drying down. This is a matte lip, so, but it's not transfer proof. Um, but that could be because it's not completely dry. So I'll give it a few more minutes and then we'll do it again. So here are the swatches of all the lipsticks. So you have full size, you have the Flower Beauty, the Wet n Wild, the Hard Candy, and the Alme. These are all full size lipsticks, okay? Um, ooh, excuse me. So these are your two samples right here. And then of course you get the lip uh, mask. So I think this is a great deal. Like this is a great deal with some really great colors. If you like the colors in this video, you guys are gonna love this box. Like this box is even better than the last box. It really, really is. I'm super excited. So I feel that my lips are a little bit more dried down. So let's go ahead and do another kiss proof test. Nope, <laughs> it still comes off, which is not a problem. Color is still beautiful. Oh, the color is still beautiful. Okay, so Walmart actually has a couple different boxes. Um, they have like a glow box, they have skincare, they have hair care, and then they had this one. This was the pretty little extras. Um, nothing basic about these accessories. So the reason I actually picked up this one is because my daughter wanted some fake nails and those things are like expensive and this one came with the fake nails. So um, these normally run for like six or seven dollars. The whole box is $9.88. So it just made more sense to go ahead and pick up this box um, because I get a Moda brush down in here. I get an Eco Tools uh, sponge. This is a blot and translucent powder single dose cosmetic compact. So that's really nice. Um, and eyelashes by the Kiss brand, which I absolutely love. I'm wearing them now. Um, and some eyelash glue. And then she gets the um, the nails, the stickers, and a pretty polish. So it just made more sense to go ahead and do it this way. Um, oh, and a fingernail file, which I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably get that too. <laughs> so this is also an option if you guys are interested in this. Um, I think this is a really cute set. I think it also makes a great gift. So um, definitely worth looking into. Like I said, the other boxes that they have, I will have right here for you guys right about now. <laughs> So I really enjoyed the latest in lives box. I think the selection this time around is so beautiful. You do get several full size products, which pays for the box itself. It really, really does. So if you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And the Neutrogena, and the Neutrogena, and the Neutrogena, Neutrogena, Neutrogena. Neutrogena. And the Neutrogena. Neutrogena. And the Neutrogena. I can't say it. Neutrogena. Whatever. <laughs> All right, you know what? My lips hurt, so let's just go ahead and open this bad boy up and give this a run. Is it just supposed to? Mm -mm. Oh, how is this supposed to? St <gasps> well, that's not gonna work. I just dropped it on the floor. Awesome.